What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more American Truck Simulator and today we've got something really cool we're going to be doing. We're going to be pulling a uh, NASCAR hauler for DeWalt, uh, Matt Kenseth. I don't know if he drives through them now or not. I really, I couldn't tell you. I'm not, I don't really keep track of uh, NASCAR so I couldn't tell you. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comments. But anyway, uh, we've got the DeWalt number 17 car hauler, NASCAR hauler and uh, I set up a Volvo uh, cab tried to match the color up as close as I could can't really find any good like trucks that are kind of true to life uh, For this I've seen some that are they look kind of fantasy to me Because the NASCAR hauler cabs like uh, most of them are pretty plain Jane like they're not really all decorated and stickers and stuff like that on them So this was the closest thing I could get we're in Vegas and we're gonna be taking this car to uh, I think Flagstaff So anyway, let's go ahead and hop in the truck and we'll get going all right, we're set. We're ready to go. This is a 13-speed Volvo. It's like 435 horsepower or something. It's nothing crazy. I didn't think it really need a whole lot of horsepower for uh, hauling this car trailer. So that's what we're doing. Once again, it is a Volvo. The Volvo transmissions are really finicky to me. I don't know why. They always are. Let's get the window down real fast. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Volvo transmissions, at least for these, are really finicky for whatever reason. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here without, like, uh, scratching a car or... That's really super close back there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, we should be okay. We got our buddy watching for us back here. Let's see. We got our buddy watching for us. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we're going to curb the heck out of it, but there's nothing we could really do. Like, how in the heck can you get out of here and not like curb it or uh, scratch something? So, if we can get it out of there, man, that was tight. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was close. Okay, there we go. I think we're home free now. We curbed it. Uh, hopefully, the car is strapped down good back there. I'm sure it is. Nice. Okay, we'll get up here uh, to the red lights, and uh, hopefully we'll get out of uh, Vegas pretty quick. You know, on the open road. There you go. One more look at our truck. Not a bad looking truck, really, especially for the plain Jane cab. The color actually matched up pretty dang close. Like I had it opened up on one monitor, and then I kind of played around with it on the. Uh, in the, in the game and uh, yeah it's a, it's like a hair off it's like a hair dark but uh, pretty dang close either way so uh, as soon as we get this light we'll get out of here and on our way anyway hope you guys are having a great week I'm filming this on Wednesday for Thursday and it is a crazy day here in the Texas Panhandle we've got like a uh, 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 a windstorm basically it's like brown out outside right now uh winds gusting up they're not gusting too terribly up high here maybe 50s uh to 60. um over on the western side of the panhandle i think they've had a gust up to like 74 80 mile an hour up in colorado they had one over 100. so hurricane force winds on a, a beautiful gorgeous uh, day really other than it being brown now like it was uh, great this morning got up this morning it was 60 degrees outside uh just an absolutely beautiful morning uh, it wasn't really windy it was a little breezy but not I mean, it was like a typical morning and uh it smelled like rain that was the crazy part about it it smelled like rain really strong this morning we haven't had any rain in like 60 something days uh 60 or 70 days so that was kind of odd that uh, it was smelling like rain like that, but nonetheless, crazy day. I'm hoping I can get this done and uh, not have any issues with it, with the weather being so bad. Probably give us a ticket, but you know, whatevs, <laughs> whatever. I didn't today. Wow. Sometimes it does. Sometimes we get a ticket. Sometimes we don't. I don't understand the right on red in uh, in game. I'm a big Volvo fan. You guys know it. I love the Volvos in uh, ATS. I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're bad at all. Had a good suggestion the other day. Uh, delivering Christmas presents for ATS. We'll probably do that on the next video a little bit closer to uh, 
Christmas, maybe something like Trucking Tuesday or something will uh, we'll deliver some presents. I think that would be fun. So good suggestion. I appreciate it. And thank you everyone that participated in the poll for uh, Armor 3 versus Squad. Uh, it helped give me a lot of insight. That's something I've been thinking about for a while. Ideally, I'd love to get into both of them. I think they both look like fun. They're both a little different. Uh, to me, Armor 3 is like a little more... Uh, oh, she just don't want to do it. Going seventh here, maybe that'll do it. Uh, Armor 3 is like a little bit uh, slower paced ops, a little bit more uh, realistic, I would guess. Uh, squad to me would be like uh, a, a mix between like your typical FPS uh, run and gun shooter and uh, Arma. It's like one step below Arma, and then Arma would be like the most realistic. The thing about Arma is like, it's highly dependent, your gaming experience is highly dependent on finding a community that you can do it with. I don't have an Arma community right now, so um, that's something I would have to kind of look into and work out as far as doing that. Uh, squad's a little bit easier, you can just jump in on a public server and uh, go with it, but... Uh, I don't know we'll see like i said i want to get into both of them i think they'd be a lot of fun each has something to offer but uh it's just a matter of like kind of getting there like vegas uh fire rescue nice Trying to get on the gas and pass us there. That ain't gonna happen, dude. We're doing it legit today. Last video, we uh, we created a little mayhem. We're doing it legit today, though. Doesn't that look good? Like just cruising along like this and seeing the trucks ahead of us, the uh, RNL doubles, and uh, all the traffic and stuff. That looks so cool. I love this game. I really just do. Damn, we're speeding too. Slow it down a little bit. go nice view of our truck pretty sharp truck i dig it i like it i just wish we could have had a cab that's a little closer uh you know kind of based on the real thing a little bit all right let's get by these doubles here or if he's got the correct cab i hope so it doesn't look like it though Yeah, it is correct, but it's got a weird reflection on it. Like, the color looks completely different in the sun. Like, it's a, met a metallic paint job or something. I don't know. That was odd. It looked almost brown. No, he done got got. <laughs> he done got. The long arm of the laws done got him. <laughs> nice. It'd be cool if you could get pulled over. I wish they could change the uh, traffic system up a little bit and have them like actually pull you over, but uh, you know you don't want to sit there like the full duration. Like that would that would be bad. But uh, we get bypass. Nice. Okay, we'll do that. Speed drop. I missed that sign somewhere. There we go. Not too bad. I completely, completely missed that. It was pretty cool in the mirror back there. I like that. Straight. 
Oh, I just wish that clutch would be a little better. Not so finicky. Uh, speaking of the Arma and uh, squad, oh, the other day, uh, I was really surprised. The last time I looked at it, uh, Arma 3 was actually winning. It was actually winning by a little bit. It was it was pretty close, but it, it was winning. So it's kind of going back and forth. Like I said, I just think squad uh, would take a little bit more work to, uh, to get established. I mean, uh, Arma 3 would take a little bit more work to get established in that game, to get a good server. It's like really server, uh, server dependent. So I I've got some plans on that. Uh, I just need to kind of look around a little bit and see what I can come up with. Man, this thing is dragging with the 435 horsepower. I thought it would have done a little, a little better than that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start splitting gears in seventh, I do believe, like she just don't like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge, uh, a huge fan of NASCAR. I've watched it. I watched it, and uh, you know, it, I enjoyed it at times. It's been years. Uh, I like some of the older drivers and stuff like that from back in the day. But uh, I do remember when I worked for the railroad. Uh, I used to have to uh, deadhead through Talladega. Deadhead, of course, is when you ride like a, a van. They take you from a van. Uh, to your away terminal or uh, to the train or something like that. And I, there was like every time they had a race in Talladega, I would have to deadhead through Talladega and the traffic was absolutely insane how many people were there. I hated going through Talladega uh, during the race, like it sucked. I remember one, at least one or two years I deadheaded through there uh, during the race. And then another year I actually had to, uh, I had to pick up a train in Talladega. It was a local, we had to do some uh, switching and stuff like that in Talladega. And that really sucked as well too, because. There's just so many people there. I just, I didn't care for it at all. <laughs> I didn't care for it one bit. The place is a madhouse. You, you go down the interstate and uh, it's just like a sea of uh, RVs and stuff like that out there. It's crazy. All right. Nice convoy of trucks. Look at that. Cool. I dig it. Yeah, I'm telling you, this truck's struggling. I, I wish I put a little bit more horsepower under the hood than uh, the 435. 435 was just what was default selected for the truck, and I thought, eh, it, it's, it, it's hauling a car, you know, and tools. It can't be that heavy, but I, I guess it really is. I don't know how much this trailer's weigh. I guess it is. I don't have a clue. Obviously, it is heavy in game. How many cars do they haul? Is it two? The two cars, is it uh, the, the main car and then a backup or something maybe, I guess? I don't know. I can tell you for certain. Oh, there's the wheel wobble. Wheel wobble is back. She is wobbling wobbling back it is so hard to keep her like she wants to wobble back and forth a little bit just a hair miles out not very far at all now I like this stretch of highway it's always fun driving I-40 this NASCAR trailer has me wanting to play car me mechanic simulator. That's one I've looked at a little bit here and there. I've watched a ton of playthroughs on it. It looks like a lot of fun. 
But it does. It has me wanting to work on cars now. Alright, Flagstaff, two miles. That's probably going to be us. Oh, she's struggling so bad. <laughs> so bad. Come on. Oh, I'm regretting that choice. Wish I could do it over now. There we go. Oh, I see we exit off and go to the north. Okay. Interdasting. All right, we will do that. I thought we were going to be going to the south. Come on. Slow down. Remember, we do have a car and a bunch of tools back there. <laughs> it would be slinging around all over the place. Oh, she just doesn't like to pull that at all. There's our stop, sweet. Made it, welcome to Flagstaff, guys. It's been a while since I've been to Flagstaff. Actually, I don't even think I, yeah, I have. I've been from the other end, it looks like. Not through here. Oh, nice, hear the train horn, very cool. Guys, no, I have a soft spot for trains. I definitely do. I miss the job. I love the work. Uh, I don't miss the lifestyle, though. Like, you're going all the time. I was so incredibly tired all the time. Like, it, it was uh, it was hard. It was hard being away like that all the time. All right, we'll swing her in here. I uh, shouldn't be a train coming, because one just literally came through. Though. Oh, we're delivering it to the... Gas station? What? <laughs> it must be like a, uh, oh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, we're at like a promotion or something where they, uh, damn, where do we go? Like, where do, oh, sh I let her go dead. Are you kidding me? I was sitting here looking. Like, where do we, where do we take it? I have no clue. Like, where do we take this? Oh, we just just park it. Okay, I guess we don't do the uh, the little thing. I'm like incredibly confused right now. Uh, it looks like we go around the other way. What do they have us doing here? I don't. Yeah, they do. We got to go around the other way. Doggone it! All right, well we'll make the grand tour here. All right, people, y'all just gonna have to wait. We're delivering a NASCAR, uh, NASCAR promotion here. They weren't very specific in their instructions as far as how to deliver this thing. Can we just swing around back? Probably that way we'll have a good angle coming in. There we go. Perfect. Now oh, we're set up perfect for it. We. Wasn't too bad once I figured it out.
All right, here we go. Delivered safe and sound. Sweet. Our, our first NASCAR haul. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed too. May I have to do some more of this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you're a NASCAR fan, if you're an ATS fan, and uh, if you have hauled NASCAR in ATS, pretty uh, pretty cool idea. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Thank you all for all the support. Love all of you. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the road next time. Peace.